TK Tower videos brings you Digimon 2016. So even though we have this thing set out already, we need to put it away. Because <laughs> we need to do this first. So we're going to flip a coin to decide who goes first, and then we're going to take turns. Each of us pick one card. After a while, we'll probably go two or three at a time just to hurry this up, and that's how we're going to build a battle deck. Where did I put it? I don't know. Hope I didn't lose it, man. That was a whole dollar. <laughs> that was a whole dollar. <laughs> Alright, heads or tails? Tails. I didn't mean to throw it across the room. <laughs> you want to take that into consideration, too? What? What, what's required to Digivolve? I don't know what's required to Digivolve. Oh, it says right there. So um, you, you want to get those guys so that you will get to use that card potentially. That's kind of how you go about doing it. Like, this Mega I have, it requires Triceramon and Pixiemon to Digivolve. So that was why... What if I took it from... Well, if you took Triceramon, then that would really stick a wrench in my plans. But generally that's how you build a deck. You start at the top and work your way down just to make sure you have all the like proper Digimon in that family. Because if you have like an ultimate, but you don't have like the champions that go to it, then what's the point of having that ultimate? Alright, so that was what? It was a, a grueling 20 minutes to make a deck. Next time we'll, we'll build decks on our own time. Start buying them booster packs. Don't you have a bunch in your own? Yeah, I have a whole bunch, but is that something you really want to do? What do you mean? Build our own personal decks? Well, it's not like we're ever, are we ever going to play this again? Do you, we'll, we'll see how much fun we have right now. And let that be, because that, what, was, what was our first attempt like, abysmal? Because the instructions that came with the game were super confusing. and didn't make a lot of sense. I was also super bored and tired. You were also very bored and tired. Would you be so kind as to shuffle mine as well, since I'm really bad at shuffling? <laughs> I guess. Just to say. Also, by you shuffling my deck, you can't accuse me of cheating. Can you accuse me of cheating? I might. You can't. If if it starts going bad for me, then yeah, I'll accuse you. No way, you can't do that. That's, that's how you play games. You can't accuse me. Yeah, I can. You told me to, so it's your own fault. I'm going to go grab my glasses and a little note paper so we can keep track of the points. I'm going to cheat in the meanwhile. So normally, points are uh, kept track with these. These things. But you take this, you pop out the middle. And then you kind of put this, these little bits in there, and it keeps track like that. But I'm not going to do that. I don't want to go bending them, because, I don't know. Why bother? Actually, I had a surprisingly hard time finding this. Like, it was on Amazon for the longest time, for like 15 to 20 bucks, and I was like, oh, I'll buy that when I feel like it. And then I couldn't find it for the longest time, and I was like, shit man, do these just go extinct all of a sudden? I really wanted one, like, to have eventually. Then, uh, oh. at the Anime North Naminoishi, I saw a whole bunch of them for like 10 bucks each. Didn't I give you one? Yeah. Yeah, so you got one at home too. Each player selects one rookie level Digimon card from their 30 card deck. Oh yeah, deck. we're supposed to shuffle after we do that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Wow. You're the rules girl, you should have caught that. Well You know what? Just for the sake of it, I'm gonna pick I'm just gonna use the first rookie. Let's let's do that. First rookie. Face down, right? Well places it face down in the dual zone. Okay. So I'm just gonna take my first. 
and I'm going to shuffle what few I did see randomly into my deck. The players then shuffle the rest of their deck and draw 10 cards from it, placing the remaining cards in the offline on in the online zone. Into the online zone. Then each player flips over their Digimon card. All right. We have to take turns doing that. Uh, does it really matter? Well, I don't we know. both have to do it anyway. It'll say if it matters. I don't know. Alright. Where'd that Lumi go? How do I keep losing that Lumi? Digivolve phase. If either did, if either player has a Digimon that Digivolves from their current Digimon, they place it face down on the Digivolve zone. You can tell if a card Digivolves from a Digimon if the Digimon in the dual zone has its name inside the box below the Digimon. Blah, 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 blah. Then they flip a coin to see who Digivolves first. So, for example... At the very top of the card, don't look! Oh, I'm sorry! <laughs> At the very top of the card, it says, Who can Digivolve? Or, yeah, who can Digivolve into this guy? Unfortunately, I don't have a single card in my hand that can Digivolve from Gatsumon, so I just simply will not be playing one. Yeah, I don't have any that Digivolve from Tentomon, so. Nothing at all? What, what happens if that happens? Well, I guess there's no Digivolving. We just okay. skip the Digivolve phase, right? <laughs> Whoever goes first starts by flipping over the card in the Digivolve zone and places on top of the card in the dual zone. Well, that's not happening. The turn is finished by fulfilling any requirements that need to be fulfilled, such as sending cards from your hand to the offline zone. After this player is done, the player going second has the option to either Digivolve their own Digimon, or they can simply end their turn without Digivolving. Players who cannot Digivolve must pass. If both players pass, then they proceed straight to the battle phase. Alright. In We're addition. Not messing around. Each player can only digivolve once per round, so whatever you digivolve into, you are stuck with until next digivolve phase or it is sent offline. Whoever won the coin flip starts the players off and playing power option cards in the power port. Alright, so let's take a look at where we stand right now. I'll be doing 200, no, I'll be doing 330, and you'll be doing 250. Boo. I'm not going to play a power option, so I guess you can play as many power options as you want. Now players calculate how much power their Digimon has. Naturally, the Digimon with the most power wins to start. Each player identifies the color of their opponent's Digimon, which is either red, green, or yellow, all shown in the box in the upper left corner. Then you match your opponent's type with a corresponding attack on your card using the list of attacks. Next, you add up all the power option effects. Whoever wins the fight scores points based on the levels of the defeated Digimon. A scale is on the card that will help determine how many points you get. After fight, all power option cards are sent offline unless it says otherwise. And the loser's Digimon cards, except for the rookie, are also sent offline. So the rookie stays? Yep. If, if you were to have digivolved the champion and lost, you would have discarded the champion and everything on it until it was just Tentomano. But I keep it. Yep. So as I had done the math before, I'm doing 330 because you're red, and because I'm green, you're doing your 250. So I won this duel. Okay. And because at the bottom it says when I defeat a rookie I get 100 points, I have 100 points. Generally the game goes till 1000. We'll We'll see how long we've been playing at 500 and play it by ear. Whoever wins goes first in the next fight. The players continue playing until one player has reached the agreed upon number, usually 1,000. You can discard as many as you want and replace them, up to 10. Okay. So, as you said, because neither of us have any Digivolve options, well, see, I'm fine. Like, I'm beating you pretty hard right now. Yes, I know. But it sure would help to Digivolve the champion, because surely that's going to be your goal next time. I like all of these except the rookie. <laughs> this whole hand is really good if it wasn't for that god. Well, I guess we can we can switch it out, but I think I'm going to commit. Next, both players have the option of changing their rookie. To do this, players place a new rookie face down over their current Digimon. At this point, you begin the round at the Digivolve phase with either the winner with the last fight going first, or if the fight ended in a tie, the person who went first last time goes first again. Let's go on my offline. And then I'm going to draw three more. I guess I will switch him out, since I can't... I still can't digivolve. 
Alright, are you sticking with Tentomon? Yeah. Alright. I actually didn't even take into consideration what Patamon's, I mean, what my experience <laughs> did you want stats were, so you might actually be winning by default. Just, just I got ahead of myself. Just, just try, just try. I got ahead of myself, I'm like, oh, I'll just pick one that can Digivolve. I didn't think that, am I winning? I'm doing 360, mm. you're doing two, oh, it's the same as last time. I don't like this. So I'm winning right now. However, we can Digivolve. And the rules say we have to play it, right? Or at least the first, yeah. We have to play a Digivolve card, if we have one. First first person has to use it, second person doesn't have to. Which is a strange rule. I don't know how that balances things out. So you're not playing a Digivolve card? Can't Digivolve. Okay. <clears throat> so I guess I will go ahead. I'm Digivolving to Mosiamon mm -hmm. from Patamon, mm -hmm. and I'm offlining two cards. So now those are my new stats. And I'm pretty sure that put me at a disadvantage. So you're doing you're doing 350 and I'm doing 290. So now you're winning. Because I really just wanted to digivolve. <laughs> so now we take turns playing power option cards. Oh So I've played that. Meaning I will digivolve to ultimate. I have to discard my the rest of my hand to do it, but I can do it regardless of requirements. One is, did you evolve any Digimon to next level regardless of Digivolve requirements? Place this card face down on power port. Oh, okay, yeah, this face down. And place next level Digimon card face down on Digivolve zone. The next one face down on Digivolve zone and send the rest of my hand offline. Can you play that? What's that? It downgrades either your champion or your opponent's champion to rookie. Place this card on your power port, power port and send either your champion or your opponent's champion offline. Use this card, send one card from your hand offline. And that gets rid of my champion, eh? Wait, does that even have any effect? Yeah, it did. Because mine is Digivolve and Digimon to next level. Okay. My next level is champion, and this is an ultimate, obviously. So now I can't Digivolve to ultimate. Okay. Can't just go rookie to ultimate. <laughs> There's no warp to evolving in this. Well, no. You you realize that you're still losing. Yes, but at least the damage won't be as yeah, bad. Yeah, at least at least you <laughs> wasted this really good card. I mean, it's it's shiny for a reason because it's really cool. So I'll, I guess I guess that's just offline. Okay. Might as well offline this too. There goes my whole hand. I get a fresh new hand. So. I'm using Boom Bubble, which is 360. You're using mm. Talon Attack, which is 250. And because you're a rookie, I get 100 more points. Alright, so that's the end of the attack phase. Now we're back to setup. I don't know, I guess. Did you evolve? Regroup? Yep, regroup. So, discard whatever I want. Discard whatever you want. I guess since I don't have any to discard, I just get these 10 and I'm stuck with them. If you want to place your rookie, put it face down. You put this in the offline? Yep. So obviously you played a rookie. You did. With a strong green. Or I didn't look. <laughs> That's also pretty likely. <laughs> I don't know what to bank on. The, the fact that you were paying attention or that you just... Because <laughs> you, you fluctuate between both so frequently when we play these games. What? Like, like sometimes you'll make a move that's completely airheaded, like it was your, like you hadn't processed thought all day. Other times it'll be perfectly mastered to confuse me. And because you switch between them so randomly, I uh, you don't know what to believe. You're a loose cannon. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna play a card with, with reversed stats. That's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna trust in the heart of the cards, as Dylan would want to put. Okay. This is Digimon, not yu -Oh. Well, you can always trust in the heart of the cards. If there's cards, you can trust in the heart of them. Okay. So next... Next we reveal. Okay. Probably. <laughs> Alright, so we got Otamon versus Gabumon. Oh, you yeah, have one this time, eh? Yes. So I'll also play a face down one, since apparently we have no choice. And then... That's, I, think, I think that's a strange rule, because... If you had a Digivolve option that you wanted to save for later, what's stopping you from just not putting it down and lying to me? Well, 
Because, no, it says that. Both both in these rules, it didn't make sense on here. And in the one we it looked up on It says you have to? Are you sure? Yeah, it says both players play. Like, they don't say can play. It says play. Yeah, but it doesn't mean you have to either. It didn't say have to, must. Well, the, the ones we found online after that says that the second person doesn't have to if they don't want. The first, like, if you don't want to, you have to discard it. Maybe they think they know what they're saying. I don't know. I don't know. I just find it a little hard that the official rules that came Can we just say that we don't have to? No. We're playing we it the way to? it's meant to be played. Okay. That's what we're demonstrating here. No house rules. Say. Very little house rules. Okay. So I've already played mine. You've played yours? Yeah. So I'm revealing mine first. Otamon and Gekomon, obviously. We're not even branching out here. Okay. I have to offline one card. Now I'm doing 390, and you're doing 150. You definitely want to do all four if you have a power option card to change things. So now it's your it's your Digivolve phase. Reveal yours. Oh, got one to grow them on. If you want to do that, you can. But as the rules online state, you don't have to. Only I have to. Doesn't even do much better. Well, let's see. I'm yellow. Yes, and it oh, didn't yeah. do much. Yeah, that's garbage. <laughs> well, just you can discard it if you want to. Oh, my hand sucks. Listen, my hand's not that great either. Yes, oh, but you're still beating oh, me. Tom I have and zero. Are the worst. Do you and you're probably going to beat me here. Do you remember that episode in Season 1 where Mimi was being treated as a princess to wake Shogun Gekkomon? The Otamamon and the Gekkomon at her? And she was making all these demands, and she had to sing to wake him up. That's the, like the worst episode in Digimon history. It's so annoying. That one and uh, that one in season three, where those two side characters are hanging out with Gigi Mon and the old woman Mon, Babamon, I think. Those are the two worst episodes. So I just hate Otama Mon and Gecko Mon for it. They're super annoying. You know what? I'll just digivolve anyways. You're gonna digivolve anyways? Why not? Yeah, I guess it's going offline either way, whether you win or lose. So are you committing to that Digivolve? Offline, two cards. I'll Digivolve. Alright. The damage will be less, right? <laughs> or will it? Well, it doesn't matter. We don't have HP, we just have whoever did the most damage wins. Oh well, yeah. How do these damages work? I mean, how do these scores work? The scores? Yeah, like if you beat a rookie, like if you're a champion beating a rookie, or if you're... Oh yeah, like, see like on a rookie. Like I pointed out earlier, a rookie gets 400 for beating a Mega. A champion gets 200 just because like you're stronger. The bigger the difference, the more like the more risk, more reward. So it's it's pretty much the same thing. Rookie and champion. Like if I was a rookie, if I didn't digivolve and I still beat you, yeah, I would have got 200 points. I'm not playing any power option cards, so you can go ahead and play as much as you want. Okay, so that's that. Yep. All right, the battle takes place. I won. I get 100 points. And um, he goes I. Yep. You discard. The champion and okay. any power option cards. Alright, so now it's uh, back to regroup. You can discard as many as you want and replace them. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm at 300 points now. You got zip. Finally, I'll get to 500 and call it quits. Yeah, right. I'm gonna completely humiliate you in this. I can just stop playing anytime You're gonna rage quit? I'll I'm gonna rage quit. You're gonna rage quit and humiliate yourself? <laughs> so we're on the Digivolve phase. Yes. You have any digital options? No. All right. Me neither. So now we're on to battle. Do that. What's that do? If you if I lose the duel, then your top three op cards online get sent offline, and I'll just hope that they were useful cards. If I win, I lose those top three cards. Yeah. Do I get to look at them and mourn their loss? If you, I don't know. <laughs> do you want to? I think generally we play them face up in the offline pile. We battle. Yeah. And, and I win. you win. Oh, because I defeated a measly rookie, I only got 100 points. So I'm offlining 7 cards. You know, come to think of it, I don't think I have any ultimates that even did you well from Gekko. I think I played myself into a corner. So if you could defeat me really soon, that'd be great. Do you think that's gonna happen? Well, I don't like looking at Gekko Mon. He's stupid and I hate it. Well, it's not gonna happen. It says in regroup, when online deck is down to zero, now or at any time during the game, send all cards on your side of the board except rookie offline. 
So that probably includes my champion. Yeah, I guess I'll just... Like, I would have won the battle either way. Do you want to play like that or just leave him on? Doesn't matter. Okay. Are you changing your rookie? Yeah, why not? I don't know. Nothing I can do with if him. If you really anyway. like that Gabumon, you could stick with him. <laughs> yeah, right. Who knows? Maybe I'm using a Digimon that's red. You could do big damage, 350. Yeah, but what would be the chances of that unless you anticipated me changing my rookie? What if I told you I wasn't paying attention? Well, see, now we'll never know. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I you change it, though. Why? Well, actually, yeah. No, I take that back. I strongly recommend you change it. <laughs> so you can beat me again? No. I don't know. What to believe? You know what? Because I'm 400 points ahead, I'm going to tell you that I, it's yellow, and that's your weakest. Just just a little just a little sportsmanship. I'm going to give you that. Definitely change it to something that's it's strong lying. yellow. You're lying to me. No. Why would I do that? You know I'm nice. I, I play, <laughs> and I played card games fair, and I, when you're losing, I show pity. I don't want pity. Well, too late. You already have the information. You can't just forget it. Fine, I'll change it. Just so I don't have at least zero. Okay. Now for the reveal. Kunmon. Oh, and Demi Devimon, he's a cool dude. Alright, so you're yellow. I'm doing 300. You're doing 300. Uh oh. We're at a tie. Unless one of us can digivolve. No, then they can't do it. You have no Digivolve options? Yeah. Okay, then we're moving on to combat. I guess nothing changes. <laughs> no one's awarded points. So we just go to regroup? Yeah, we're just on to regroup. Nothing happens in the battle. Okay. Or at least that's how we're going to play it. Oh yeah, now, it's a, now that it's a tie, we decide who the first player is now. Heads or tails? Tail. It's heads. Stop calling tails. Why it's literally it never tails. Fail me? There is a tails on this coin. I checked because I was starting to not believe it either. Okay, so we're on Luck isn't on your side, huh? We're on regroup. But okay. if you can't possibly come up with anything with your cards, then just discard as many as you want. Okay. Just keep in mind that if you reach zero online, you have to discard everything. Not that you have a champion to lose. That puts me, <laughs> that puts me down to zero again. I don't even get these eight. How are you going through all these cards? Because I just keep throwing away my hands. Since we're not playing Digimon Card Battle on PlayStation, I can safely toss away cards until I get what I like. Alright, so now that we have regrouped, you have ten cards? Yes. We can replace rookies if we want. Okay. And of course, at least one of us will want to do that. Mm -hmm. Since we're at a tie. Alright, let's reveal. Oh, oh yeah, I'm first because... I'm called it badly. So I'm uh, yeah. Yep. Alright, so as it stands, I'm doing 140, and you are also doing 140. Oh, come on, Kim. Stop tying up this game. We're both doing 140. Once again, it's at a tie. <laughs> I was like, should I play it? I'm like, oh, yes. I don't have a choice. Two cards offline. Okay. Now I'm a great one. I'm doing 220 to your 140. Okay. And now we're moving on to the battle phase. Okay. Play power option cards. Face down, face up. I guess it'll say on the card. All right, I'm not playing any power options. Are you? Let's do that. Oh boy, yellow offensive. So power attack. So the power thing goes changes to yellow. Yes. And now you're doing 350, and I'm doing 220. That means I finally have a chance of that means, scoring that means, some points. That means you're coming back. I can't... Yeah, that's it. So you defeated my Greymon, and because he's a champion, you get 200 points instead of just 100. So see, you're coming back. You're already, you're already halfway up to my score in one battle. You have to discard yours. I discard mine. I'm back down to Agumon. Can you play multiple power ports? Like power yeah, ports? you can go as... We, we take turns, and the once one person stops taking turns, the second person can just keep going until they run out or stop. So if I have... Once again, I'm offlining almost my entire deck. So if and I only have two... One card left. I'm saving that for a very special occasion. If I only have two left, but I'm discarding three, so I'll only three more. Does that mean... Or how much more? Yeah. If that, when that goes down to zero at any time... Discard, so all these? discard everything on your side of the table aside from your rookie. So just all this stuff yep. that's e ruffled? Even the ones that were there before, 
those those are all going away. That's why it kind of makes it risky having to throw out everything but your rookie. Because if you're at like an ultimate and you're like, man, I really need that one card to go to mega, you can't just keep discarding till you get it. Because if you get down to zero, boom, you lose all that. But when you're when you just have rookies out in play, it's it's fine. Because I mean, it's you're not gonna, right. you're not gonna lose anything. I have nothing to lose. When you have nothing to lose, Literally. throw it all away. Okay. I'm doing 360. You're doing 250. Anjuman, offline, one card. 200. Yeah. It made me weaker. However, I'm still beating you. Why? That's strange. I thought... Hmm. I figured it would be the same color. There's too many... I'm not smart enough. <laughs> There's too many things to look at. I'm just like, I want to play this one. I like this guy. You just want to keep digi evolving? I just want to... I'm just showing off cards and playing the game. I'm not really strategizing and trying to win. So now I'm doing 200 and you're doing 140. <clears throat> now we're moving on to <clears throat> battle. You can... You can... You play power option card first if you want to. I can play one for right? You can play one. You want to play one? Yeah. Until I pass, or... Yeah. We each take turns playing one until someone passes, and then the opposite player plays as many as they want. Okay, so you're changing to yellow, so you're doing 350. And I'm just doing 200 still. What's that? If you win the duel, double your score. Oh, are you you're shitting me? Send three of your online cards offline? Yep, okay, discard three of those cards. I can discard all online. No, wait, like, no, I can't. No, the ones from your hand. Oh, online. Yes, oh. online. Okay, cards. sorry, oh, I, wait, got no, no, I got no. confused. Wait, what? No, you were right. Oh, actually, wait, you didn't read oh this all goodness. the way. This card cannot be used after opponent passes. What the fuck? You may only use one of these cards per duel. Do not use this card with a rookie in your duel zone. Send this card offline to the end of the Yeah, literally, all of them. I've already passed, and that's I don't a pay attention to the red stuff, okay? It's red, though, to catch your <laughs> catch your eye. Okay, well, whatever. Excellent. Now I know you have that card, though, because that, that big scene you just made, <sighs> I'm going to be ready for it. Do you have any other cards that no. you're allowed to play? No. Okay, so you won. Okay. That would have been a like that would have been a good card to play because that would give you four hundred points. Oh. Uh, guess we're not. I guess we won't be playing this game again, huh? You're so <laughs> miserable. I don't really like, care for it. Did you like this or did you want card battle better? The PlayStation um, game. Probably the online one because. <laughs> the one, on, yeah, the one on PlayStation. Less things to read. Oh yeah, there and because it's a game, it doesn't let you do things you can't do, so it it, it holds your hand through it like. If you had tried that card in a game, it would be like, you can't play this. And then I wouldn't know you have it, and you wouldn't have had to make that mistake. But that's what I kind of like about card games on the computer or in a video game. Okay. All right, so now we're at regroup. Okay, so you're keeping your rookie? Sure. And that's your Digivolve option there? Yeah. All right. All right, first player, reveal your Digivolve. You can put him right on top. Okay. What do you got to do? Offline one card. I'm going to choose not to do that, actually. So that goes offline. So right now, <clears throat> you're red, I'm doing 360, and you're also doing 360. Yeah, you won the last one, so since you're first, you get to play a power card first. Power option if you want to. No, nothing. Me neither. So, it's <laughs> so a tie? I, it's, once again, it's a tie. Okay. So we're skipping and going Regrouping? straight to regroup. What you gonna do, man? I'm gonna discard everything because I got nothing to lose. I know. I do that. You do what you do. So you I'm can. doing what I do so that I can do what I can. Nice fresh strategy starting with Patamon. Cool. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, not feeling it's so cool anymore or ever again. I'm not digivolving. Are you digivolving? How do you do something with the digivolve with the digivice? You play that Digivice. At the same time? When you, if you're Digivolving to Ultimate and it requires a Digivice, you play the Digivice face down in the power port, and then your Digivolve option face down like you normally would. Well, it, wait, it was a tie. We have to decide who's the next first player, yeah. so flip that coin. I'm gonna call Tails. Let's see if Tails does me well. Heads. Alright. 
So Why does it always whoever, like whoever said there's a 50 50 chance. <laughs> it's a liar. Yeah, I don't. It's been done four we're times. Literally, statistically, we've achieved something that's impossible. Heads four times? Well. Wasn't it like five? I don't know. I don't remember. You could always do a coin count. I have a coin counter in yeah, your video. Yeah, I mean, how many times we're ruining science? Okay. Well, All right, so you're first player. So, yep. Yeah, you're digivolving first. So I can do it. Oh, things are looking grim. Is this the first time someone's reached ultimate? So you're digivolving right now. We're going to reveal these. Red and green. So you're Ikakumon plus Digivice, which is red. So this goes offline. And now you're a Zudomon. That's rough, man. That's ultimate level. Okay, so what does, where does that do? I'm doing 360. You're doing 390. Oh man, imagine if I could beat an ultimate. I'd get 300 points. So you're going first in the power options. Place that. And hope that you can't do anything. So what's that? If you win the dual double your score to use this card, send three of your online cards offline. Okay. So send three cards online to offline. Now what are these requirements here? Please tell me that I, I didn't want to read them again. Cannot be used after opponent passes. Since you're first, I haven't passed yet. You can only use one of these cards for duel. You may not use it with a rookie in your duel zone. Okay. So you can use it. Yeah. Doubling your score which would put it from 100 to, to a 200. whopping 200. Now you have 600. Where are we at? Regrouping? Yeah, we're at regroup right now. Don't forget, if you have to shuffle your online deck, you're going to lose that Zudamon, so you want to play careful now that you have such a power there. Yeah, but I just do what I do. Truer, truer <laughs> words have never been spoken. One card left. Looks like next turn it goes away. Oh, yeah, because you have to drop to 10. That Zudamon can only last one more turn. That's okay, I don't care. Well, you have, you have 10 in your hand right now, right? I do. If you don't play a single card, you can maintain that Zudamon. Which means that if I do come into a time where I can beat you, you just have to let me win. Otherwise, your Zudamon will be gone. So I just can do nothing? Well, no, like, you can, you can play a card to make you win, but then your Zudamon will be gone. Mm. Whereas I guess if I beat your Zudamon, he's gone anyways. Now what? Alright, we've regrouped. We have ten cards each. Yes. Do you want to change your Digimon <laughs> to a different rookie? I'm okay. I'll be changing my rookie. Agumon. I definitely can't beat you. I'm doing 140. You're doing 270. Yeah, well, what you got up your sleeve? Oh, I got... Well, I have short sleeves. What you got up your sleeve? What, what I got in my hand here, however, isn't great. <laughs> but it's a living. It's a living. Okay, so we're now on the Digivolve phase. I don't imagine you have something that can Digivolve. I don't think Zudamon can... Nope. Well, I mean, he can, but not with the cards we have. Not with what came to the thing. Now I really must be Greymon. I have to offline two cards. See, so now I'm doing 220, and you're doing 270. Okay. Okay? Okay. And you're not, you're not did you me, so now we're moving on to the battle phase. Okay. Thinking about DTG evolving there? Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. You know, I just do what I do. I know, you don't... Well, you're doing better than me. You're 600, I'm 400. Okay, well... I'm not gonna do anything. No? So you're passing? Yes. I'm using the power option card. What to do? When confronting an opponent of a higher Digivolve level, it doubles my strength. Cool. I cannot use it on a rookie. That's why I lost the last match. I was planning on beating your Zudamon with my Patamon, but then I saw that I can't use it with a rookie. I would have gotten some nice pointage for that. Yep, so I'm doing 440, and you're doing 270. You've already passed. That's all I need to do. This this goes... Yep. To the end of duel. So I doubled my strength. 
and won that one. So get the hell out of here. Because that was an ultimate, I get 200 points. Winning us once again, back neck and neck at 600. Okay. So now we regret? You know, despite having questioned the rules earlier in the game, seeing how close we've been in pointage, I guess it's balanced. I always thought some I thought some of the rules were a bit stupid, but if that's what it takes to balance the game, then who am I to question it? Oh boy. Oh boy. Got big plans for you, going on. This is I'm keeping him. Got big plans for you, opponent Digimon. Okay, I'm regrouped. I'm not changing. So now you may change if you want. Now I'm revealing that I'm using Red Digivice. Did you evolve the Skull Green? Is that? Qualamon? But yeah. I don't have to do that, right? Nope. Since you're second player, you don't have to. Okay, well I choose not to. I was really hoping that I wouldn't lose to a rookie with an ultimate. <laughs> I mean, I knew that your Golmon could beat me, but I figured that once you noticed that I was going to Digivolve, you would definitely want to Digivolve. <clears throat> That's not the case. Okay, so I'm doing 320. You're doing 350. Alright, <laughs> so you get 300 points. I can't believe you didn't fall for my trap. What trap? I trapped myself. I was hoping that you would just... Choose the Digivolve? Yeah, I already I saw what you were Digivolving into. I figured you'd be like, oh, there's no way I can compete. I better just Digivolve. Ah. <laughs> you think I wouldn't look? Yes. Yes, I did think that. Because you don't. <laughs> sometimes I do. You know, I do sometimes. I don't. You know, I just do what I do. Uh, for I, the sake of doing things. I had big plans. I was going to win that. <laughs> and then I was going to go to mega level. And then win. The whole game. <laughs> in one swoop. Alright. Do you underestimate me? I underestimated you. I feel like if we actually like spent some time making our own custom decks. You could beat me? Oh like and no, we, me we could just in one turn. We could both perform better. Like we would get to higher levels more often because I don't know. Of course we're just using the ones that came with the starter set. And this one takes so long. Maybe maybe next Digimon we'll make our own decks. We'll see. I got a whole bunch. We'll see. Wait. I'm waiting. Yeah, okay. Okay. Alright, first player. Oh, show? Yep. Alright, Octomon. Offline two cards, and that's who you are now. Okay. And now I get to go. Rockmon. I would be doing 380, you would be doing 360. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna offline two cards and did you? Could have got more points if I beat you as Agumon, but I don't know if you have any cards that's gonna change that. You're 360. I'm beating you by 20 points. Okay. Oh, you're gonna do green? Yeah. So it's 390 against 380? Yep. Beat me by 10 points, huh? What you got? What do I got? What you got? I'll tell you what I got. I'm scared. <laughs> Did you me? No. I've got nothing. Okay. So I'm passing. Okay. You're winning the duel. And I guess that scores you 100 points. Giving you 1,000 points. Okay. But we said we play up to 2,000, so... What? We <laughs> did not. No, I'm, you win. I'm done. You won fair Ouch. and square. That was that. Okay. Are cool. you glad? You won. How long did we spend? We spent almost that two was, hours. That was, that was two hours. Well, that that's, that includes uh, picking out cards, which was easily half an hour. Wait, but we recorded that. Huh? We recorded that. Yeah. Right? yeah. So that was taking to be like an hour Yeah, and so half? we were playing for about an hour and a half. Cool. Well, we were, we were playing for about half an hour, thinking for about an hour. 